Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, we're outside enjoying the great outdoors while I plant some flowers and vegetables out in our garden patch. It's a beautiful spring day here in the Virginia mountains, so if you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. How are you all doing today? I hope you're enjoying beautiful weather wherever you are in this great big world. We've had a very wet April here in the Virginia mountains, but the sun has finally come out to stay for a while, so I thought I'd take advantage of this beautiful day and head outside to plant some flowers and vegetables that I picked up at Lowe's. I have some seedlings that I started in the house, but they won't be ready to transplant for a few more weeks. But while I was at Lowe's, I saw that they had some vegetables that were all ready to be planted, so I cheated and bought some. I picked up some cabbage, collards, Brussels sprouts, and romaine lettuce so that I could go ahead and get a little head start on my vegetable garden. But before I can get started, I have a little more prep work to do to get my raised garden beds ready for planting. We want to add some bad garden soil to the top of the beds as well as some cow manure compost. We also want to till up an area in front of the fence in order to plant some wildflower seeds. So if you're ready, let's just get into the video. some wildflower seeds that I would like to plant in front of the garden patch fence. So Tim is tilling up the dirt for me. I also want to move the windmill closer to the fence. I can envision wildflowers growing all around the bottom of the windmill, which I think would be really pretty. One of y'all suggested putting a little bench out in front of the windmill, which is a really good idea. I could sit out by the garden patch and look out over my future chickens and watch the sunset over the mountains off in the distance. This is an old metal wash basin that we found in the barn when we first moved in. And I knew that I wanted to plant flowers in it, so I've turned it into a planter by drilling holes in the bottom. I bought some snapdragons and poppies that I think would be really pretty planted in the metal basin sitting right beside the garden gate. I'm going to get this planter ready by filling it with potting soil, and then I'm going to head into the garden patch and do the same to the raised garden beds.
The dirt that we bought to fill the garden beds with doesn't seem to be the best quality. Once the dirt dried, it had become hard as a rock and super clumpy. So we thought it would be better to add bagged garden soil to cover the topsoil that we filled the beds with in order to make planting easier. We're going to be mixing bagged garden soil with black cow manure in the top of the garden beds. So hopefully that will give our plants the best chance to survive and grow big and healthy throughout the summer. To be honest, we really don't know what we're doing. I just know I don't want to try and plant in the hard clumpy dirt. I do know that before we try and fill the next two garden beds, we'll try to find a better quality soil to purchase, that's for sure. I really am disappointed with this soil. It was supposed to be topsoil mixed with compost, which sounds like it would be perfect to fill the raised beds with. Unfortunately, we found glass and metal in the soil, and not to mention the hardest rock clumps of dirt that is sitting on top of the beds. That's what Tim is removing now, and then we'll add the manure and bagged soil to this bed.
Without even thinking about it, I went and left all the vegetables and flowers that I had bought this morning in the car longer than I meant to, and now they've gone all wilty on me, so I've watered them and I'm going to let them rest until tomorrow, and then I'll plant them. I have just enough time left today to rake and clean up the area that Tim tilled for the wildflowers. It's getting late and the sun will be going down soon, but don't worry, I'll be back out here first thing in the morning to plant all the beautiful flowers and veggies that I purchased at Lowe's. It's bright and early the next morning, and now I'm ready to start planting. I'm going to get started by planting some snapdragons and poppies in this metal wash basin that I've turned into a planter. I've mentioned before that we're sharing the garden patch with our neighbors, so I'm just focusing on this side of the garden patch for now. I'm so impatient, y'all. I wish I could just snap my fingers and the garden would be instantly filled with a million wildflowers. But I realize it will be weeks before they start to bloom. So in the meantime, I'll just have to be happy with the snapdragons and poppies for now. Once I finish planting the flowers, then I'll be planting the herbs and vegetables that I picked up at Lowe's.
found some rosemary, thyme, and parsley at Lowe's, so I went ahead and bought those, along with a few vegetables to help give my garden a little head start. Those are the three main herbs that I like to cook with, so when I saw them, I just knew I had to buy them. I would eventually like to have an herb garden up by the house, but for now, I'll just plant them down here in the garden. In this bed, I'll also be planting cabbage and Brussels sprouts. I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to build the garden shed with gutters so that we can start collecting rainwater down here by the garden. Right now, I'm having to make several trips back and forth to the house to fill my watering can. Tim also plans to install a hose bib on this side of the house so that way we can run a water hose out to the garden. In the meantime, I've ordered two more watering cans so that I won't have to make so many trips back to the house. I'm just so worried that I won't be able to keep all the flowers and vegetables watered enough and that they'll all die on me. That would be awful. It took me a few tries before I figured out how I wanted to plant the cabbages, but now I think I have a little system worked out. I just hope I gave them enough room to grow, but not so much room that I'm wasting valuable space in my raised beds. But that's alright. It is our first time raising a vegetable garden, so this year is all about learning what works and what doesn't. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and get these Brussels sprouts planted and then water these plants before moving on to the next bed where I plan on planting romaine lettuce and collard greens.
Well, what do you think, y'all? I've got two beds planted with store-bought vegetables, and hopefully by the time we build and fill up the next two beds, all of my seedlings will be ready to transplant. Fingers crossed. All right, well, after a little break, I plan on spreading some wildflower seeds in the area that Tim tilled up for me. Poor guy, he still doesn't feel 100% better, so he's resting inside. He has seasonal asthma, so springtime is pretty rough for him, and on top of that, he has an upper respiratory infection. But he still insisted on helping me in the garden yesterday. But today, I insisted he stay inside and rest. I sure hope he feels better sooner than later, though. I hate to see him sick, and I miss working with him side by side on projects here on our little homestead. I'm so excited for these wildflowers to bloom. I'm hoping they will attract tons of beautiful butterflies, honeybees, and hummingbirds to help pollinate the vegetable garden. I've already seen some pretty butterflies swimming around the snapdragons, so I'm hoping that's a good sign. And speaking of hummingbirds, I bought a new flag for the front porch, so I'm going to go hang it out before saying goodbye for this video.
Well, y'all, I think that's about it for another video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you for my next one. I hope you all have a great week, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye, y'all.